Welcome back to BRMC's Healthy Connections. And during the commercial break, we have brought you Miss Jody Bodenhammer, who is the Repel Diabetes Learning Center coordinator. Miss Jody, you've been on the show before, and there's always exciting things going on over at Repel Diabetes Learning Center. What's yes. going on now? Lots of good and exciting things. Um, lots of our regular diabetes education classes and seminars. And we do have a couple of special events. Um, I know Cindy was just talking about all of the, the great things that are happening with the foundation and, and those things obviously come right back to support us at the Repel Center, right. which is so important. Mm -hmm. um, and we're so very thankful for that, not only from foundation, but from the community support as well. So just glad to hear about all that they've got going on. And then just to, to tie in and throw in some more, um, I think I should tell people to get out their calendars because yeah, yeah. Get your there's calendars so out. much Write going this on. Down. <laughs> yes. Um, aside from our, you know, just general classes and, and general scheduled um, events that we usually have, we also are having a um, diabetes support group. We call it our wellness group meeting, and that's going to be coming up on Tuesday night, which is October the 28th. Mm -hmm. um, we have this scheduled program every month. It's the fourth Tuesday of each month. And since the holidays are coming up, this will actually be our last one of the year. So we thought we would go out with a, with a gusto. Sure. Um, we're having a live musical program because music is a great stress reliever. And for any of you that have visited with me before about diabetes, you know that I, I really talk um, a lot about our stressors on our body and how that affects blood sugars and our overall health sure. you know, in general. So we thought, why not? We had an opportunity. Um, one of our wonderful volunteers, Miss Ruth Ann, has volunteered to come out, um, set up special, and her and her husband are going to play for us. They are a group called Garden Song, and they play the mountain dulcimer, oh. Oh, the regular guitar, my goodness. and then they both sing as well. So. We think it'll be great, um, something for, for every type of musical lover. Yeah. They do play a, a pretty wide variety of music, and they do these musical therapy programs for different groups um, with the understanding that it is a benefit to our health. And so right. we're really excited about that. Um, I think she is probably just as excited as I am about getting to play, and she told me today that she's staying away from me because of my cold so she yeah. can sing next week. So <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty excited. Don't want to take any chances. Yes. So. And I know that, that a lot of our folks um, that come to our regular program are excited about it, but I just wanted to make sure that people knew that we had a diabetes support group because okay. most folks that, that come to our classes, either they're newly diagnosed or they're new to the area, and maybe they haven't had that um, formal diabetes education before, they don't know that there's ongoing support as well. And, and what we want to make sure of is that people stay motivated, um, they stay current with their mm -hmm. meal planning and their, their diet and their exercise and even their medications. Sometimes sure. when those types of things change, um, I know I see a lot of folks and a lot of my patients that, you know, things get lost in the shuffle and they're not sure when to take this medicine or, or when to do that. And then the stress levels obviously go up. Go up, and, sure. And, and everything so you're trying to defeat or, it, yeah. It yeah. kind of comes full circle sometimes. Yeah. So we want to make sure that everybody is aware of that. And I thought what a fun way to hopefully end the year um, with some nice just fellowship and, mm -hmm. and like I said, live music. You, you can't beat live music anytime right. as far as I'm concerned. So. Now is this going to be at the Repel Diabetes Learning this Center? This will actually be over in the Lagerborg Dining Room okay. on the BRMC campus there. And of course there's parking um, back behind over by the, the, the cafeteria area or the mm -hmm. cafeteria entrance as we, we call it at the hospital. Um, our group has grown so that we we don't have it I, I was, at the house yeah, anymore. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought that it was large, and yes. as soon as you said music, I thought, oh, that's going to draw another whole group of people. It will it, hopefully. It. Yes. So we need a little more room. So and it is, and, and we we typically meet over there in the Lagerborg um, at 5 p.m. on the fourth Tuesday of each month. So okay. this will be our our last meeting of the year, and then we'll start back up again in January, and wow. hopefully we'll. We'll keep that tradition going. Um, I like to throw in some some different things in the mix. You know, we have different physicians come and speak. Um, we've had Dr. Arp in the past talking about foot health. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of variety of different things. Dr. Moore um, recently spoke with our group about neuropathies, and so lots of things that people with diabetes deal with, but maybe haven't gotten a clear-cut answer on. And so we try to try to make sure that we're and touching. 
Sure. All of those areas. Very knowledgeable yes. physicians. Oh, both absolutely. Of them that you mentioned. Yeah. Absolutely. So. And they do such a great job. You know, it, it's it never ceases to amaze me that I, I have to kind of talk them into coming, but then they get going and they just they're they're great. Mm -hmm. They're great to answer questions mm -hmm. and and you know all of our physicians here we're so we're so fortunate with that. We so are. They like to share. Yeah, just getting them. But like you said, yeah. getting them over that hurdle that that public speaking <laughs> mode terrifies. Well, the Donna, best they're not them. like you and I. They don't just like to talk. <laughs> just so. Talk. <laughs> So no, but once you get them over that hurdle, and sure. as you say, once you get them going, because they're pa they're passionate about yes. what they do Absolutely. and um, what they can share, and they just they share it when they it share is. it well, and it's a good resource. And and I know that both of them have have done multiple presentations in the past for all of our different support houses, um, in one capacity or another. You know, and it just. It, it is really a a, te a true testament to our physician support mm -hmm. in this area and mm -hmm. how they they do care about our folks. Yep. So yep. really and truly, they go way above and beyond. Yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. And and I'm glad that we have this opportunity because we don't always get coverage on items like this. And mm -hmm. it's like this is one avenue that we can share sure. with the public and say to them, hey, we've got just the best docs out there mm -hmm. because they are more than willing and they help in so many ways. They come to lunch and learns. And you know, and they really could be doing something else. Sure. You know, when you think of various, like with Dr. Moore, orthopedic surgeon, they're tired. Right. After these surgeries, I mean, they're tired, but they'll still make and create the time to come and. They never and cease share to amaze time. me yeah. about about the giving spirit that yep. they have. So yep. it is. It's a. It's definitely um, something that keeps me going and and keeps us over at the Repel House, you know, and with our diabetes patients because it touches so many, like you were saying earlier, you may not have diabetes, but odds are you know somebody mm -hmm. or you're close with mm -hmm. somebody that does. And that, that can be an important thing. Um, our, our other main event that we've got coming up is actually going to encompass that whole family dynamic mm -hmm. of diabetes because we're gonna celebrate World Diabetes Day this year, which is something new we've never done at the Repel Center as a, as a public awareness um, for both type one and type two diabetes. Okay. Um, I just today actually um, reached out and, and tried to get the schools involved with this as well. So hopefully we'll see a lot of community support with this. But we are um, going to have our main usual community awareness program like we've had in the past um, with different educational speakers and different topics. Only this year it's healthy eating begins with healthy breakfast. Okay. And I think that's going to be a really neat catch on things. We are going to be having a free healthy breakfast for everybody that attends. Now, where, when, date, and, and? World Diabetes Day is Friday, November the 14th. So November we are going to celebrate right then and there. Okay. Um, and again, over in the Lagerborg dining room. For space, because okay. Of the, because right. of the room. Um, and, and this is something that's put on totally by, by the Repel um, Diabetes Learning Center. And then we've also invited in some of our national vendors. And so we'll have some of the national companies for the meters, for the insulin pumps, um, for the insulins and different medications. They'll be giving out all kinds of good information and, and be able to provide that support to a patient. I love it when our vendors come because odds are somebody out there is having trouble either getting their insulin or, or mm -hmm. getting some of their supplies, be it for um, injections or pumps or even their meters. And so this is a great opportunity for the public to kind of get to come in and, and talk to these very national vendors and, and these larger companies that do support us in the diabetes avenues. And I'm really excited. Um, I think we're going to have a great turnout. Mm -hmm. And again, Jan's going to be speaking about healthy eating and food, so you can't beat that. Who's doing the breakfast? Um, Jan and I myself. Was say, yes, yes doing of the course. breakfast. We'll be doing a lot of cooking and prep work um, leading up to that Friday. And then, like I said, Friday, November 14th, come out and help us support and bring awareness and celebrate World Diabetes Day. All right. And I think there's a color attached with that, isn't there? There is. Are we wearing blue? We do have a blue, um, Go Blue for Diabetes Day. Go Blue Day. for yes, Diabetes initiative. Day. Yeah. And if you're from the Mountain Home area, that's Bomber Blue. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. make everybody's sure, excited. Make sure it's Bomber Blue. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Um, and, and again, just giving that support, either whether it, it's a family member or a close relative or mm -hmm. even a friend or a neighbor. Um, our diabetes patients need to feel like they have 
somebody and and someone in their life that understands. Right. And and I think a lot of times most of publicity and and most of our media kind of dings diabetes as a negative disease process and it can really be very positive for the person and especially if they have that good control and they're able to. So that's what we hope to bring is just um, a great day, uh, um, a little bit of education, some exposure, and just making sure that Mountain Home is aware that we have great diabetes support, not only with, with our center, the Repel, but our physicians as well in this exactly. area. So what time is it? It's going to start. We're going to kick off at 7 a.m. So even if you go to school, um, all of you younger oh, folks, you can the stop kids in can come the, in sure. and, and pick up their, and um, we're going to have some little goodies and, and things for giveaways and then pick up their stuff and have their breakfast and celebrate in style with us because we certainly are proud of our, our little um, younger warriors out there mm -hmm. that are they're fighting the diabetes mm -hmm. fight every day as well and, and such an inspiration to some of us um, more mature audience <laughs> and a little bit um, I'm, I'm young at heart I like to say yeah. but I know a lot of people that motivation of, of getting together with the kids and seeing them and seeing their absolutely control is they're great. normal kids so, yeah. they just happen to have diabetes exactly exactly and, and it's, it's not a death sentence no so. no it is not what it once was I, absolutely from years ago yes. and, and yeah and I know with the insulin pumps I think that's the greatest thing next to cheesecake to come along <laughs> as far as diabetes goes right. because what a difference it makes in the quality of life mm -hmm. For anyone, but especially young kids, this is. And we have, you know, we have tons of information about those, and and can certainly answer any questions anybody has about an insulin pump. So, mm -hmm. anytime, um, I'll give a little little phone number here for the center over where my office is, and that's the Repel Diabetes Learning Center. Um, Five zero eight one seven six five is our direct extension. And if anybody has any questions about any of our programs, um, World Diabetes Day, right. or, or anything else. Um, we do ask that if you would like to come to our World Diabetes Day celebration that you call and make a reservation so we can prepare enough food. Mm -hmm. And again, just call that office line, 508-1765, um, anytime, and just leave us your name and number, um, even if it's on the weekends and you sure. think about it. So sure. we're glad to glad to accommodate, and we'll be glad to have just as many folks as we can possibly fit in the Lagerborg Dining Room. Absolutely. And if you've forgotten any of the dates or times that we've been talking about this morning, um, go to our website, www.baxterregional.org, and it's all going to be there as well. Yes, yeah. Miss Donna and Miss Adrian do a great job making sure that everybody knows what <laughs> yeah, we're doing. We've so. we got to make sure that everybody knows what's going on. Good. So. Well, thank you so much. All right. We'll come back and see you soon, all right? Yes. All right. Wear blue, November 14th. Wear Lagerborg Dining Room, mm -hmm. uh, 7, 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. 7 to noon. And the phone number one more time. 508-1765 to register. All right. Thanks so much for joining us today for BRMC's Healthy Connections, and we'll see you again next week.